it's shifting our diet to more plant-based diets, each of us can help protect the environment while also protecting animals. Raising animals for food is reportedly a major cause of greenhouse gases and pollution. As Going Green celebrates green cuisine, we want to take a look at a diet centered on plants and the planet. Vegetarians argue for their diet as a way to control global warming and more importantly to stop animal cruelty. Factory farming and slaughter is a horrific reality of our food chain. If this is vegetarian today, you may never crave a hamburger again. has received a lot of awards from Vegetarian Magazine. It was recently voted the best vegetarian restaurant in the greater metropolitan area by the vegetarian group Compassion Over Killing. Being a vegetarian in the D.C. area is so simple. It's easier than ever. There are hundreds of places to get vegetarian food, and there are over two dozen all-vegetarian restaurants right in the D.C. area. vegetarians sit down this holiday season, many will be enjoying a popular dish called tofurkey. Because Thanksgiving doesn't have to be about a bird, tonight Going Green takes a look at how vegetarians can make a feast without ruffling any feathers. Vegetarians also feel a meatless diet elevates us to another level. We don't contribute to the suffering of animals, and we don't contribute to greenhouse gases. The United Nations issued a report in November 2006 showing that the livestock sector generates more greenhouse gases than all forms of transportation combined. By choosing a plant-based diet, we're not only protecting the environment, but we're also protecting animals. Throughout history, the cute bouncing bunny with a basket of eggs and Easter on his heels has been a symbol of innocence and joy. But that image has been cracked in recent years due to shocking video and investigations revealing that our friendly old Peter Cottontail now is just a bad egg. Susie, did you ever stop and think about where your food comes from? Let's take a trip to a factory farm and find out. That meat comes from little piggies who can't turn around. Those eggs are laid by birds crammed into tiny cages. And that milk is from a cow whose calf was taken at birth and made into veal. Graphic undercover video leads to animal cruelty charges against a Lancaster County egg farm. The general public saw film like that, they would stop eating eggs immediately. I mean, it was horrible. The videotape shows chickens in what are called battery cages at Espen Shade Farms in Lancaster County, one of the top egg producers in the state. There's a shot of a hen with a beak stuck in the wire cage, and another with a dead chicken caught on a hook. But magisterial judge Jane Duncan did not consider this cruelty to animals. It's not just disappointing, but it's disturbing that the judge has deemed these abusive conditions permissible in Pennsylvania. Erica Meyer is the executive director of the animal rights group Compassion Over Killing. A member of the group shot the undercover video while working at the Espen Shade facility. 
Compassion Over Killing says it will continue to expose what it considers the hidden cruelty on factory farms. And it says it will encourage consumers to leave eggs out of their shopping cart.